previously on a soft reboot. Hey, uh, hi. hi. You must be Alexis, right? I am, yeah. Maurice, right? Hey, I need to go. Lexi, stop! <laughs> Life is full of turning points. How do we know what moments of note in our life are actually contenders to be considered a turning point? What defines a turning point in one's life? whole new city, starting a brand new life. While well, trying to kindle a friendship with my estranged father, who doesn't even know that I exist, definitely constitutes as a turning point in my life.
Honey. It's very good to see you. You too. Where's Max? Uh, he is still asleep, I'm pretty sure. Sit him down. Yeah, well, he's a teenager, it's what they do. About the flight from hell. Someone had their baby on board and the little shit wouldn't stop screaming. <laughs> For a crime against nature. How could a baby ever cry? Very funny. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep. Oh, sorry. No, that sounds very irritating. Good save. What are your plans for the day? God. Uh, well, I was going to run into the city, try and check a few errands off the list, and um, well, then I figured I'd probably come home, get you, and maybe take her out for a meal at the end of the day. Sounds lovely. My route, I'm going to get some sleep. Oh, of course, of course. It's a long trip, I understand. Um, that's a great idea. I love you. Alright? Mom, you're back. Yeah, I just got in. Oh, I missed you so much, honey. I miss you too. So, how was the trip? Yeah, it was okay. I... Max, what the hell happened to your arm? Oh, I just fell down some stairs. No, Max, that looks so bad. What the hell Sorry, happened? Sorry, I fell. Max, what I happened? Stop, I said I'm okay. I just fell. Jesus Christ, Max, you need to be more careful. Anyways, how was the trip? It was only okay. We didn't leave the hotel that much, so we didn't really get to see that much of the city. And that's a bit crap. Yeah, but I'm home now, so how's school going? It's fine, just getting pretty sick of leaving her at this point. I can imagine, but just a few more months and it'll be over. And I promise you, it will be worth it. I hope so. Right, well, I'm gonna go and get some breakfast, but I love you and I'll see you later. Be Thank careful. You. Listen, unfortunately, we're probably going to be fully staffed for a full time. You may have a trial at the part time. That would actually be great, thank you. Okay, well, no problem. Uh, listen, throw your CV in at the end of the day, and yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, actually, can I grab a cappuccino real quick, please? Of course, of course no worries. Thanks. Why wouldn't it be? Just that last night I saw you burning that piece of paper. I want to make sure it wasn't anything important. It, uh, it was um, just documentation from work. Um, it's a really stressful project that we've been working on and I'm just glad to sit back. Okay, well as long as you're okay. I'm all right. Thank you. Oh, could I get a lift to the city when you're gone? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, um... I'll give you a shout when I'm heading out. Thank you. Greg, you need to stop calling me. I've already told you we're finished. No, I don't care. No, I couldn't care less if I tried, Greg, okay? You need to leave me the fuck alone. 
Shit, uh, Alexis, sorry I didn't see you come up here. Um, how long have you been? Long enough. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry, I'm fine. It's just um, a bad end to a not-so-great relationship, so... I get it. Really? Yeah, it sounded horrible. I'm glad you're out of it, and don't bother with someone who would treat you that way. I mean... I know, but... I don't know, I've made mistakes too. What was the mistake? Um, I got pregnant. And I wasn't ready for a baby. The thought of it should be exciting. Not something you dread from the minute you wake up and have nightmares about every night. Oh. I had an abortion and I didn't tell him but eventually somebody else told him so um, we tried to keep things going for about a year but he changed um, he did horrible things and Never let me forget. Jesus, Nerissa, I'm so sorry. I just want to move on. Uh, when did it end? About three months ago. I just packed my shit and left. Good. You weren't ready to have a baby. And maybe, yeah, you should have told him, but making your life miserable for a year? Sorry, I shouldn't be dumping all my shit on you like this. No, no, dump away. Honestly, I'm always here for you. Thanks, Alexis. I appreciate it. I actually have an idea that might cheer you up. My cousin Ben is in town, and I was wondering about inviting him and my friend Desmond over for a couple drinks at ours tonight. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, it's your place too. You don't have to ask me. No, I know, just... I want to invite you as well. Oh, um, thanks, but I'm not really feeling up to it, I don't think. Narice, please, it may take your mind off a few things and it would mean the world to me. Okay, I guess it couldn't hurt. See, that's the spirit. I'll go call them now. Okay, I'll get changed and I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay. Jesus, that's burned it. I don't have family right now. This is your kid, not just a family member. How could you not want to try and find your kid? I do not need your kid. Alright? This has thrown everything completely out of my I mean, for fuck's sake, I have no connection to this kid whatsoever. What? What are the blood? Come on, James. Don't you want to try and set the record straight with this kid? I don't know, James! I think you're out of your mind. But uh, listen, we all have a cover of stories. But in this line of work, 
Janine! Janine! Yeah, there we go. That's it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my bad. We have gone the dingle. Flat judgment. I get it. No, no, it's fine. I got it. Okay. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello? 